So in this video, we're going to go over setting up motion detection on the 78 series NVR. So first, you're going to want to go over to alarm and by default, it should be at the motion area. Uh, so first, you'll want to set the motion zone. So anything in red is going to trigger motion recording. So as you can see here, there's a lot of plants and various other things at the location where the camera is facing. So if I wanted to figure or collect any accurate motion readings, I'd need to avoid all of that because if, if there's a windy day or something like that, it's going to trigger like crazy. So you can just click and drag the various areas if you want the whole thing or just smaller specific areas. Uh, you can set the zones accordingly. Um, I do recommend for certain cameras making no more than four zones. Uh, you can make them any size you wish, but some cameras only allow four motion zones. So if you draw anything more, it's going to expand the squares to make smaller zones look like they're part of the main zone. So uh, just draw four if, if at all able. And then if you want to make specific areas uh, like this. I'm trying to avoid the various plants and just get some basic stuff here to test. And uh, this isn't really where a camera would normally be, but this is just for video purposes. And now here you can set the uh, schedule for this particular channel. Uh, right now it's set to 24 seven. So if you were to go and um, change, you could change the various days and the various times to fit the schedule that you prefer. Next is the trigger process. This is where the various options are that um, will occur when the camera detects motion. And so if you want it to record, the record channel needs to be checked. Uh, you only want to make sure that the channel that you're currently working on is highlighted in blue unless you want other cameras to trigger when this camera detects something. So if you were to select one, two, three, and four, whenever motion occurs in front of channel one, one, two, three, and four will record motion. So if you don't want unnecessary recordings, make sure only one channel is selected. Then there's send email, show message, snapshots, and various other things that you can have your cameras uh, perform if they detect any motion. And lastly uh, is the sensitivity. Um, you can make adjustments here. The higher the number, the more sensitive the, the camera will be. And some, depending on the model of the camera, if you're not able to adjust the sensitivity here, you will have to log into the camera directly to adjust some of those settings. And here we're just going to test it out, throw my hand in front of it, and you see the uh, show message popped up, indicating that there was motion. And then we'll go back here to playback, and you can see here we have to expand it a little bit because there hasn't been that much recording. Uh, but you see the little red uh, dot right there, that's where the, the hand event was. And so if you move down here at the bottom and click on the timeline, it will jump to that time and just wait for it to show the event. Uh, now, if you want to come in here and set it up to do motion only or just the um, motion and alarm, uh, just go ahead and delete the constant recording or the manual recording and apply it. And then we're going to move our hand in front of the camera again to trigger the motion. There's the show message popped up. And then when you go to playback, you'll see that there's a gap between the manual recording and the motion recording. So if you take out the manual recording, there'll just be a lot of gaps with the motion only.
It is very important that when you're done setting up your motion settings that you uh, closely review them because there can be a lot of false positives with motion detection. If you have your cameras outdoors, you need to be careful of all sorts of various elements such as cars, people, animals, insects, trees, and other various plants. A lot of that is um, hard to manage, especially if you have your cameras in a very heavily vegetated area. As for indoor environments, it's important to watch out for uh, other things such as fans, um, monitors from computers, flashing lights, any, any kind of light activity or movement will trigger motion. And especially at night when a lot of things are supposed to be turned off, but you still have flashing things from phones or various other things. It is far more common outdoors, but also can apply to indoors, but you will also need to keep an eye out for spider webs. If you notice that your cameras are recording a lot at night, it is usually due to the IR lights of the camera detecting insects and especially spider webs. Uh, if you do the playback and check your nighttime recordings, such as what we have here, it's very apparent when there's a spider web in front of your camera, it will glow with the IR lights. But once you feel that your settings are sufficient, you can go ahead and disable constant recording if you want to do motion only. Otherwise, feel uh, comfortable having both motion and manual recording set at the same time, in which case it will simply just show a marker where motion events occur. And that's all there is to motion detection.